Yep, it doesn't get any better than this. Sun's going down, beautiful view. So you own a Toyota Tacoma and you wanna turn it into overland truck. Don't waste your money on super expensive equipment. Here's a cheap and easy way to turn your Tacoma into overland beast for cheap. All right, so for this to work, the first thing we're gonna need is gonna be a tunnel cover or a bed cover, or whatever you guys wanna call it. The one that I have on my truck right now is the rough country one. And this one's pretty tough. I can stand on it and it won't dent or anything like that. But let me prove it to you guys so you guys can see how tough this one really is. I'm about like 160 and I'm on top of it right now. Just look at this beautiful view. Eee. Doesn't get any better than this. What the? So once you have your bed cover on your truck, the next thing you're gonna need is gonna be a tent. Yes, this is a tent guys. This is what I'm gonna be sleeping in tonight. <laughs> So I picked up this tent from Amazon. I think I paid like 25 bucks with shipping included. But the goal here is gonna be to set up the tent on top of the bed cover and pretty much just sleep on top of here. Um, I mean, that's what overland people do, right? With all those fancy ladders and boards on top of the truck. Um, this is equivalent to that, I would say. <laughs> now the last thing you're gonna need for this to be a successful camping trip is gonna be snacks. That's like the most important thing when you go camping. You gotta have good snacks, right? Here are some of the snacks that I got lined up for this camping trip. I mean, you can't go wrong with s'mores, right? Everybody loves s'mores and Oreos. If you don't like s'mores, then don't worry, I got you. I got the Lady Gaga ones. Don't worry about that. If you're not into Oreos, don't worry, I got you. I got the Cotton Candy Twinkies. You can't go wrong with those. And of course, you gotta have the Mountain Dew. And these probably gotta be my favorite. Mountain Dew Doritos. Not gonna lie to you, these Doritos costed more than the tent. I'm not even kidding. But anyways, if you don't like Doritos, don't even worry about it. I got you covered. I got the Pringles. Either you want the spicy chicken or the Baconator, I got you. And then for breakfast, we can start you off with some Jolly Rancher cereal or some Twinkie cereal. And to wash it down, we got some Twinkie ice latte. So I got you covered on the snacks. Don't you worry. So for those that have been following me because of my Tacoma content or because of my dirt bike content, I also like to post crazy snack videos. So if you ever see me post a snack video, make sure you watch it. I'm pretty sure you'll like it. So now that we have our snacks secured and our tent secured, we got to off-road somewhere to find somewhere to camp at, right? Well, right behind me, on the other side of this hill, I have the perfect spot that I feel would be a good place to set up camp. So let's go ahead and go up that hill, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, so we're going up the hill now. I'm in two-wheel drive. Let's see if my Tacoma makes it. We're almost there. Just gotta go over this little side right here, and we'll be good to go. What do you guys think of that view? <laughs> that looked so sick right here. Yee! All right, so check it out, guys. So this is where I'm going to set up camp at. I really like this spot because there's only one way to get up here, and that's through where we just came from. But look at this. We're surrounded by nothing but beautiful views. But this view right here is the most beautiful right here. <laughs> check that out. I still can't believe this is a 2017. I really can't believe it. Let's check out the taillights. I ended up putting on the TRD Pro ones. If you haven't seen my last video, this is what it looked like. <laughs> just, just ignore this right here. Got a little scratch here, but just ignore it. But what do you guys think of these taillights? Definitely changed the look of the truck for sure. All right, so I'm gonna start setting up the tent and I'll show you guys the final results once I'm finished. Eventually. Check that out. <laughs> this thing came out so good. I'm not even kidding. I didn't think this was gonna work out, but look at this. This thing came out so good. So as you can see, this is my setup. I got a, got a rock here. I got a 25 pound weight over there. Same over here, just to keep it from flying off. Check that out though, this thing. This thing looks super sick. And honestly, I'm pretty impressed with the $25 tent from Amazon. I didn't think it was going to be that good of a quality. And um, it's actually not bad. It feels pretty decent for $25. Bucks. And then it was super easy to install. It was super easy to install. But um, let's go ahead and show you the inside. That way you guys can see what it looks like. So I really like that it has two doors here. This one here is so that you can see the view at night. And that way no bugs can get inside. So that's pretty cool. And this is what the inside looks like. So not too bad, honestly. I mean, if you're over six feet tall, this probably ain't gonna work out for you. But for me, I'm like 5'9". This is actually not bad. So let me show you what it looks like once I'm inside. Like seriously, who needs a ladder when you have a tailgate? Get up there, and then you get inside of your comfy tent. <laughs> Check that out. Oh, this is dope. <laughs> this is perfect. So this is a better view of what the inside of the tent looks like. Pretty cool. I mean, this is perfect for one person. I don't think it'll be as comfortable if there was two people here, but 
Look at this. <laughs> this is dope. This is so cool. I honestly would recommend you guys try this. This might be the best idea I've ever come up with. For the price you're paying for the tent, it's a steal. And if you guys want to try this, you guys won't be disappointed. I promise you. So here's a rundown of the things that were needed for this to work. So first things first, of course, you're going to need a better cover. This one's the rough country one. This is probably going to be the most expensive thing that you're going to need for this to work. This one right here was like $400, but there's also cheaper options for you. Uh, next thing you need is rope. I think I paid like $3 for this. So you need the rope to hold down the tent. Uh, gloves, two bucks. That's optional. The tent, 25 bucks off of Amazon. And then exotic snacks, that's also optional. That's like 50 bucks right there. Um, but guys, you don't need a Tacoma just to do this. You can do this on any other truck just as long as you have the bed cover in the back. And keep in mind, this is a short bed. Now imagine doing this on a full-size truck. I feel like that would be more comfortable. But either way, this works for me and I'm happy with it. So while we wait for it to get dark, I'm just gonna enjoy some Mountain Dew Doritos and some Mountain Dew Wiley. It really doesn't get any better than this. Perfect. So there you have it. How to overland your Tacoma for cheap. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video because I really enjoyed making this one for you. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button because my content is random. I could post off-road content, it could be dirt bike content, or it could even be crazy snack content. So make sure you don't miss any of it. Also, if you want to keep up with the Tacoma, make sure you follow my Instagram. I'll link all that down below. Until next time, Gooner, aka Dirt Goon, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. One really cool thing about this setup that I forgot to mention is that it's super convenient. I got my tent folded up in this box. It's stored in there so that next time I need it, I'll know it's here. So it's in that box. I put it back here. I close the tailgate and we're good to go. I don't have to worry about me losing the tent. And next time I go off-roading, if I ever want to camp randomly, I'll know my tent is back there and we're ready to go. So that's one really cool thing about this.